Hey there! Today's workout is my TRX HIT workout. Now, here's the scoop. You need a TRX, and this is an intense workout, so you gotta bring your game with you. Now, if you're not really into an intense workout right now, don't worry, I am gonna show ways we can peel it back a couple of layers. Deal? All right, get your runners on. Let's go start sweating. Hello there! Hey, welcome! I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and today is all about the TRX, baby! So we have 16 exercises to do and we are going to be in the straps, out of the straps, jumping, not jumping, in a plank, out of a plank. Whew, we got it going on. So we need to get ourselves warmed up, alright? So we'll just leave the straps there just for a second. Let's get ourselves warmed up, body weight movements here, extend your arms out towards me, feet hip width apart, give me a squat and a heel lift. We got about 10 of these babies and then we're going to add on with some lunges. So I am so happy you joined me. It'd be awfully lonely if you didn't join me. <laughs> so this is, like I said, I'm going to show different variations though. So we do do some pretty intense moves, but I will show you how you can peel it back because I want everybody to feel successful at the end of this workout. Last two. One more. Release. All right, alternating lunges for me. Bring the arms up, look up, reach up, arms down, other leg. When we step back, step back a good stride. You want to feel that length happening in the hip and the quad. When we extend the arms, try to move through the shoulders, not the elbows. So we warm up the upper body too with this. Now I hopefully will have my camera situated at the best angle so you can see what the heck I'm doing with the TRX. Not ideal, you know, but this is fitness with PJ. <laughs> it's one camera, one tripod, one woman. <laughs> so we do the best that we can. Last four. One more each leg. Excellent. Let's take that um, lunge pattern on side to side plane. Now lunge it and the other side. Warming up the outer hip, inner thigh, but still also getting into those quads and hamstrings. When we push the bum back, we lean forward, hinging through that hip joint, reach it across, but keep yourself square to me so you're not twisting to that leg without stepping out and lunging. Listen to me, I'm already breathless. I'm in for it now. <laughs> Last four. One more each leg. Excellent, I'm gonna scoot back a bit. Bend the knees, walk out into a plank. So that means you take the hands to the ground, you walk out, you get into a plank. You with me? Good, I know you can probably barely see me. Walk back. <laughs> we have three more of those. Warming up into the core, wrists under shoulders here, and the upper body. Last two. One more. Feet together, hands together, 30 seconds jumping jacks, and then away we go. If you don't like the jump part of this, what you can do is take it in the lower impact, but I still want you to keep the intensity up, so keep the speed, okay? Excellent. As with all my workouts, I always show high and low impact. Woo, this is gonna test the sports bra, too. So far, I think it's working. <laughs> Good, getting the heart rates up with this, getting the blood flowing, getting yourself mentally ready. Try to reach right up above the head, land soft with the feet. Last three, two, time, shake it up. All right, grab a sip of water, we are gonna get busy. Okay, keep moving those feet, grab a sip of water. I've got two things I wanna chat about really quickly before we start the workout. First, have you subscribed to the channel? Hey, people who subscribe do less burpees, so it's in your best interest. You can subscribe down below, and while you're at it, click that notification bell so I can let you know every time I drop a workout. And then second, have you checked out my Patreon community? Come on over, become a member. This is a community I am creating for women who want to be fit and fierce over 40. I've got all the information down below and I will also attach it at the end of this workout. 
All right, put your water bottle down. Let's go start sweating. All right, I want your straps lengthened a little bit so that the hard handles, the handles that we usually hold on to, line up with your kneecap. Adjust them both at the same time, not one at a time, so just pull your cam down and drag them both down. From this position, I'm gonna show you the four moves that we'll do, and then we're flowing through these four moves for five rounds. So it's gonna move quick, so let me show you. We're taking the left foot, placing it into the foot straps. We wanna place them in both foot straps so that the other one's not banging against the wall or banging against you. And you'll see what I mean in a second. From this position, jump up, hands to the ground, plank, we want that right foot to stay beside the other foot, not drop on the ground and do it again. So I know, it looks awfully like a burpee, doesn't it? But we are only have one foot in the strap. Now if you're not really interested in doing a one-legged burpee in the TRX, what I want you to do is do that same move, but on the ground. So you'll elevate the left foot off the ground like it was in the TRX, bend that right knee, jump back right, jump back right again. Try to keep that left off, okay? You'll have a better time at balancing than I just did when you actually speed the movement up. Now, if you're still thinking, PJ, I don't wanna do any of that burpee shit, then don't worry. What I want you to do from this position is hands are behind the head, feet are shoulder width apart. Squat, come up, twist to the right only, okay? You'll go as fast as you can doing that move, just twisting to the one knee. Then when we do the other leg burpee, you'll twist to the other side, okay? I taught this workout last week to my class and I had a variety of fitness levels in the class as well as a variety of ages. I had people in their late 70s, early, sorry, late 60s, early 70s. I would love to have somebody in their late 70s. But yeah, so late 60s, early 70s, and this is the option that they chose and they were kept up with the class doing the other moves. So we got this. All right, when we've done that, we take ourselves out. Feet apart, elbows under shoulders, deep squat, 30 seconds, chest lifted, eyes on your TRX anchor. Then we have the right foot in the TRX for the burpee on that side. Come on out, elbows under shoulders, alternating reverse lunge. All right, you got it? <laughs> if you don't, don't worry, we got five rounds. You'll learn it pretty quick. So, left foot in the TRX. If you're not doing that, Left foot is elevated. If you're not doing that, feet apart, hands light behind the ears, you're gonna twist and bring a knee up. I don't care, left or right, just remember which one, so when we switch legs, you switch legs. Whew, all right, I'm gonna shut up now. Let's just start sweating. Ready, round one, go. Reach, up, plank, do it again. Up, try to keep those wrists underneath the shoulders. Keep it tight, keep it clean. When we're in the plank, pause it there for a moment. Feet together, try to keep that right foot off your ground. When the timer goes, squats. Time. All right, so our squat pattern. Don't worry about the length of the TRX. I want you to line yourself up with your anchor, elbows under shoulder, feet hip width apart or shoulder width apart. Just allow yourself to drop straight down, head up and go. Use the TRX as a bit of support, but that's it. Timer goes, right foot in the TRX for burpees. I feel like I have my, there we go. I don't have my back to you anymore. Okay, you're gonna place them in that right foot. Find that balance. Again, if you're not using the TRX, right foot elevated or to that other modification. Go. Left foot does not hit the ground when you're in plank. Keep it beside the other leg. My weaker leg. Woo wee! She's a little tired today. <laughs> Alternating lunges coming up. Done. 
All right, get yourself lined up with your anchor point. I won't, otherwise my back's to you, and that's super rude. Elbows under shoulders, chest lifted. Step back, front knee lines up with the ankle, back knee coming down to your mat. Never reaching for the straps. We always have that upper back pull, that scapula nice and engaged. Okay, so we're almost down round one. Back to left foot in the TRX for burpee. From the top when the timer goes. This is a really sad sounding timer. You probably can't hear it. Time. I think it may need to go to timer retirement. Left foot in. Timers here in the studio get used pretty heavily. <laughs> go, hook, used and abused. Woo, feel that right leg? Oh yeah, come on. Line yourself up with the anchor. Elbows under shoulders for start. Chest lifted. Feet shoulder width apart, drop it, go. Squeeze the booty on a little bit of extra hip extension right there. Love it. Right foot burpee coming up. Can you hear my TRX creaking? <laughs> Don't worry. They're secured. <laughs> Time. Woo. All right, right foot in. Woo. It's a workout in itself, just getting your foot in, isn't it? Ready, set, go. Huh. so easy. It'll be like we're not even doing it. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Some more trainer BS brought to you by Fitness with PJ. The purveyor of good times and burpees. last week. Here we go. Elbows under shoulders. Squat. Go. Give me that little extra squeeze of the booty on the way up. Try to pick up the tempo, okay? This may be an easy move for you, so do not make it one where you are not focused on still trying to keep that heart rate up. Right foot in, coming up. Time. Whew. All right. 
right foot. Oh. Try to get it in there quick so you get a longer break. <laughs> Survival tip 101 right there. turkey chili. I tasted it. I think it sucks. <laughs> we'll see what Lucky Nazman thinks. But I have a backup for tonight's dinner. You ever done that? <laughs> Failed miserably on a recipe? No. Done. All right, left foot in. Round four. And come on. Turkey chili, PJ. It's not like it's French cuisine. You can handle that, can't you? Go! Apparently not. Loving husband will let me know right away. I don't think it totally sucks. I could eat it. <laughs> I wouldn't make it again, but I could eat it. I think I'm a better cook than I actually am. <laughs> so I don't actually follow the recipe. Go. I've created a lot of my own recipes so I can get really cocky. <laughs> I shouldn't. <laughs> Remember, keep the tempo on this, okay? Neutral spine, don't let that pelvis dip under, what we call pelvis winking. Done. Don't wink. So that means when you come down, you tuck your tailbone under. Don't let that happen. Here you go, right foot in. Go. just 12 more exercises to do. That's it. Go. No problem. Todd. Whew. Whoa. 
happens when you start to get tired? You can't get out of the damn thing. Squat, drop it like it's hot, go. Woo. Give me an extra booty squeeze on that top. Do not slow it down. Do not press pause. We are a minute and a half away from water. Come on. Eyes on that TRX anchor and just squat. That's all I'm asking, baby. Done. All right, right foot in. So final burpee, hallelujah. Beginning to question my sanity here. Whew, go. using just a single arm movement for the upper body and then a single leg movement for our mountain climber. So let me show you and then I'll show you how you can peel it back if the mountain climber isn't gonna work for you, all right? So first off, we're starting with the left arm. Left arm pull up, okay? Grab onto it, square yourself to your TRX, feet apart because you wanna keep that right hip square. Don't allow it to drop. We will be doing that later on in the workout but not to right now. Hand on the hip, drive yourself up. Okay, one arm pull up. When the timer goes, okay, so we're working left arm, we will place the left foot in the TRX. Don't worry, it's not for a burpee. <laughs> then from this position, for 20 seconds, we are performing only a left leg mountain climber. So this, serve me, left arm, left leg. Yeah, so the leg that's in the TRX stays still. Let me show you, in a plank, okay? Just my opposite side pulled in. If that's not gonna work for you, foot on the ground, same move. All right? So I put the wrong foot in the TRX, but anyway, so the left hand, left foot, then we do right hand, right foot. 45 seconds for our strength move on the upper body, 20 seconds for our core higher intensity move. Deal? All right, let's go. Here we go, feet apart. Line yourself up. You want to be centered with that TRX anchor. You want those feet apart, all right, so that we do not drop that right hip. Left hand on the handle, arm straight, palm down, shoulder back and down. Now drive your chest up to the anchor, elbow brushing by the side, hand ending up beside the body, slowly lower, keep that shoulder pulled down. So it's not rounding forward. The movement is through that elbow. And then when the shoulder becomes involved, right there, bringing the shoulder blade towards the center of your back. Woo. Let's hope I got this timer right though. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> That's how I do things here at Fitness with PJ. Keep that other hip square. We've got a lot of core happening here on the right side of the body by having to maintain this plank. So this is a really cool move to hit a variety of different muscles. So what I love about the TRX, done. Okay, so left foot in the TRX. Or just get in a plank and elevate the left foot in the ground, on, in the air. Now from here, if you have an elevated left leg, ready, right knee in. 
Good. Wrist under shoulder, so readjust. I just had to. This is a tough move. Hang in there. We just have two rounds of these, okay? Come on. Woo, baby. Right hand pull up, coming up. Time. All right. You got that? Sweet. Okay, so the right arm now. So line yourself up with your anchor, your right center, feet apart. Now we want to keep that left hip square. Palm is down, shoulder back and down. Drive your chest up, rotate the palms so it's facing your body. Now adjust yourself. Right, closer to your anchor, a lot more body weight. Even a subtle change towards your anchor is going to change the intensity of the move. So you adjust. I want you to be honest with yourself. Challenge yourself. You do not get better, stronger, leaner, meaner by staying in that comfort zone. Comfort zones are just for Saturday nights. <laughs> if you're married, <laughs> just sitting on the couch, <laughs> eating pizza, having a drink. <laughs> oh yeah. Whew. Right foot in the TRX for Mountain Climbers coming up. Done. All right. Right foot in. Or just elevate the right leg off the ground and then you'll drive the right knee in. But if you're in the TRX, it's your left knee coming in. So just watch, don't worry about left to right, just watch. In plank, ready, left knee in. Good. Nice long line with the body, neck in line with the spine. Breathe. Feel that right quad fired up, right inner thigh, hip muscles, glutes. Oh, damn, this is good stuff. Time. Okay, one more round of each. Left arm pull up. Whew. Feet apart, squared with my anchor. Drive up, then from there, readjust if you need to go closer to your wall to make it harder. This is our final set, so I want you to get the let out. Come on. Well, final set of this series. Let me be truthful with you. We still got a lot more to do. <laughs> Abs engaged, chase that plank, keep it tight. Time. Woo. All right, so left foot is in your TRX. In that plank position. Other leg's going to draw into the chest. Hold a tight plank. 20 seconds. Wrists under shoulders. Go. Top. Woo. I got 14 in. How about you? Rest, give them a shake, right? Yeah. They're going to be affected a bit by doing mountain climbers. But we are going to pull up our big girl panties and move on. Here we go. Hips square, drive up. Beautiful. Then adjust. Can you be in closer to your anchor? Create a bit more body weight to pull up. So our last pull up drill here. on this side. Woo. All right, get set up. Wrists under shoulders, go. Time, I got 18. Woo. 
That either means I went really hard that set or I dogged it the last set. All right, shake out those wrists, grab a sip of water, and then adjust the TRX so that the hard handles are back at the knees. Okay, okay. atomic push up. Hard handles are at the knees. Our feet are going in the straps. We're performing a push up and then the knees are coming into the chest. Now my push-ups are really sloppy in a straight leg, knees off the ground when I'm in the TRX. So I put my ego aside, I'm going to do it from the knees, and then I'll go into plank to do the secondary part of the move. We have three rounds, we're staying here for all three rounds, 20 seconds. Now you might notice I have these wedges here. Um, these are fantastic. I bought them, I'll, I'll put the link down below. But essentially, you put your, your um, let me pull it in. This is how high tech we are at Fitness with PJ. This is our manual zoom in. <laughs> All right, so these divots here, you put your palm there and it creates a more neutral alignment for the wrist. Really nice for push-ups and mountain climbers. I use them at home and I loved them so much. I bought a pair for everybody here at the studio. So if you have sensitive wrists, good thing to have. All right, let's get our feet in the straps. Get them in however you want to do it. Everybody's got their own unique way of getting into the TRX. All right, from this position, as I said, atomic push-up. I'm doing my push-up from my knees. Elbows are tucked in, chest is lifted. Then I go into plank, pull the knees in, back down. All right, so you choose what push-up. It's gonna look good for you. Please do it pretty so you don't end up in physio. Deal? All right, round one, ready? Here we go, push-up, plank. Knees in. I had to move mine a bit. There we go. Time. Woo. All right, now we're just going to hang here. We're not going anywhere because we got round two coming up. to it. Starting out with goal posts. Palms down, feet apart. Walk yourself into the TRX. Chase that plank. Shoulders are rolled back and down. From this position, pull yourself up and create goal posts with the arms. So the palms are going to face away from you. Elbows are lined up with your shoulders. Then slowly release back down. That's the key. Don't let yourself just drop down. Really nice exercise for postural muscles. Secondary move. We'll let go of one strap. Just the left arm. Okay, reach up with the right, so add a bit of rotation in the trunk, okay? So now I'm going to allow you to turn that, that hip, allow you, <laughs> I'm so bossy. Now I'm going to allow you to turn and reach up and then come down, bend the knees and tap the ground behind you and drive up again. We've got each arm to do. These two moves, or really three moves, are 45 seconds long, two rounds, all right? Goal pose is our first, set up. Lined up with your TRX anchor, arms straight, shoulders back and down, palms facing down. Walk in, feet apart, bum in. Chase the plank, take a look. Do your arms look like goal posts or are they up there in the letter V? Okay, readjust and slowly release home. Good job. So take this one a little slower than what we've been doing, okay? I want you to feel the muscles we're trying to train. Yes, you'll feel it in the neck, right? Holding that noggin up, but I want you to feel into the shoulders, into the upper back, into the arms. K. 
Keep tension on those straps. There's no slack when you're up there in the gold post position. Time. All right, let's go. Just the left arm. Left arm is straight. Now pull yourself up and try to touch your anchor. Beautiful. Now straighten the arm, bend the knees, touch behind you. Come out of squat and pull up. Good. So please touch the ground behind you, okay? And you're doing that by bending your knees, using those quads, using those glutes, using those hips. Woo! And whoa, we got a lot happening in that left arm, don't we? Then from there, adjust how close you need to be at the TRX to create the intensity you need. This one's harder than it looks, people. So if you're able to sing a song right now, Move yourself closer to the wall. Make it harder. Time. Woo. All right. So, we've done one round. Second set. Start with those goal posts. Palms down, feet apart, chase the planks. That means the bum is up. Now, pull up. Try not to drive the belly button forward though, okay? That's another. We either got bum down or drive. You want in between those. Take a look. Are those arms looking like goal posts? Mine kind of are. <laughs> You're talking about a dilapidated stadium that needs some renos. Yeah, they totally look like goal posts. Left arm pull up to reach, time, coming up. Here we go. So feet apart, okay? You wanna give yourself some room for those hips to drop down into your squat. Drive yourself up, reach, turn that hip towards the anchor, and then down top. Good, reach for that anchor. But still keep those heels on the ground. You're not driving yourself with some forward momentum. You've got yourself rooted. Your core is engaged. Your legs are on fire. They're doing the work too. Done. Woo. All right, right arm. Line yourself up with the anchor. Ready? Drive up, turn that left hip to your anchor, and drop her down. Reach it. Root yourself. Strong core. Switching out my timer. 
Grab a quick sip of water if you need it. We have our final series, which includes oh, lunges, squats, and more lunges. <laughs> Cheers. Left foot is in the TRX for a lunge. Just a heads up, if that doesn't feel comfortable for you, so like I said last week in my class, I had some people that weren't comfortable with their foot in the TRX, then you set up with left foot behind you, you'll lunge and then drive the knee up and keep that stability, keep that balance. So I want you to try to have that right leg really rooted in the ground when you're doing that. The rest of us, we are putting our foot in there, okay? I don't know what I was trying to say. We are gonna put our foot in the TRX. So let's get the left foot in. Don't worry about the rest. I'll show you the rest as we go. All right. So I like to start my lunge by driving my knee up first and then bringing it behind me. You start it however you would like. We have 45 seconds here. Our second move, which is a squat jump, is for 20. So game faces, yeah? Awesome. Ready? Knee up, lunge down. Now when we lunge down, bend that right leg, okay? Drop down. Push the laces of that left foot in your TRX foot straps. That left foot is not passive, it's active. Extend the leg behind you. Chest lifted, head up. If you're out of the straps, same thing. Chest up, head up. TRX is loud. You feel that right leg yet? Done. Oh yeah. All right. No TRX. We simply have squat jump for 20 seconds. If you don't like to jump, squat heel lift. Okay? And then we'll get the right foot in the straps. Ready, set, go. Or you can do the no jump, heel lift. Whew. This is as fast as I can go. Oh my goodness. That's pathetic, PJ. Come on. Nope, that's it. This is the speed. Time. Whew. My quads are like, no more. Okay, let's get the right foot in. Oh. Ready? Lunge. <sighs> when our timer goes, we have 20 seconds of lunge jumps. Oh, this left leg is done. Done. All right. I'm just going to manually move the camera a bit. <laughs> I know, super high tech, huh? All right, lunge jumps or alternating reverse lunges, up to you. Ready, go. So, you can hop or you can not hop. But we're doing this. When the timer goes from the top, one more time. Oh yeah, no problem. Done. Okay, left foot in. If you're not doing the TRX, left knee up, okay? Oh. Go. Help out that working leg by pressing your laces into those left foot straps. What we need right now are some tunes. So 
So I hope you've got some music cranked. I can't play music, YouTube does not like that. So, I'm singing Highway to Hell right now in my head. <laughs> Graceful, wasn't it? Go! World of dance, watch out! I'm gonna be representing Canada. <laughs> Do you watch that? I love that show. What whew, people can do time their bodies and dance is incredible. Alright, right leg in the straps. That takes a complete, fully packaged athlete to be a dancer. They gotta have everything. Go! Strength, mobility, flexibility, grace. <laughs> so, I got like two of those four. <laughs> now I enjoy that show. The only reality show I like. If you're like me and really feel your foot and your calf, it's probably because you're like me on your non-dominant leg and you're using every muscle to hold yourself in this position. Time. Okay? So that's what burned out on me and again. This muscle, a lot smaller than this muscle. All right, lunge jumps, or alternating reverse lunges. 20 seconds, then we're done. Go. Let's cool it down a little bit. Give me side to side. Whew. We'll grab some water in about 60 seconds. Let's just let the heart rates come down naturally. <sighs> nice and easy on their own. Side to side taps. Hey, pretty damn good at home. High five. If you like TRX workouts, I got a few on the channel. So if you're not subscribing already, hit me up, Fitness with PJ. Hey, there's a subscribe down there and then click the notification bell. That's important when you subscribe to any YouTuber. That way we can let you know when we release a workout, okay? And we like to know that there are people out there that want to see our stuff. Woo! Alright, feet apart. Give me a deep breath in, sweep the arms up. Exhale, float them down. Two more deep breaths, float up. Release. Last one. And release. All right, let's do some stretches and then you can continue on with your day. Heel up to the bum. For me, that means going home and eating bad turkey chili. <laughs> uh, uh, thank goodness my husband loves me. I really don't know why. I'm a complete pain in the ass. <laughs> but I just realized that this September is our 25th wedding anniversary. I thought it was our 24th. He corrected me. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know where a quarter of a century went. I don't know, because cause really I'm still 29, so I got married when I was four. Yeah, that's what we do in Canada. <laughs> All right, release this leg a half a step, toe up, push the bum back, hinge to the hip, lengthen that hamstring. Ah. We don't do that in Canada, for those of you that don't have a sense of humor. <laughs> now, 25 years. Yep. Comment below, I'd love to hear. Are you married? Where are you working out from? What you thought of the workout? What are your hopes, goals, desires, dreams? <laughs> What's your favorite color? Either heel up, puppies or kittens? That's a hard one. I like them both. 
However, I got to admit, if you have a dog and you have an Instagram account for a dog, chances are pretty high I'm following you. Larry was going through my Instagram feed. I follow a lot of dogs. They're just so damn cute. All right, kick the leg in front, hinge to the hip, chest forward, lengthen that hamstring. I do follow a raccoon. I think everybody follows that raccoon. Pumpkin? That's the strangest thing. A raccoon lives with the family. But everybody seems pretty happy, so who am I to judge? Release. All right, we did it. So remember, you got some jobs to do before you leave completely. One, subscribe. Two, click the notification bell. Three, drop a comment. Thank you so much for joining me. We will see you next workout. Bye. Woo, nice.